knows what day it is. Mm. Do you know what day it is? <laughs> so it's an exciting workshop day. We're going down to London. Exciting for a number of reasons. Three, at least I can think of. One, Georgie's <laughs> Henchogi, aka first workshop, been on seminars, been on yep. workshop. Now coming along as a coach. So first experience. The other thing is, Abby, who have you organised to come down? Remember, Who's coming down? Who's coming down? <laughs> I don't know. This is too early. Oh, Lucas, coming down. <laughs> Lucas, coming down. Of course, they are. That's what got. And <laughs> it's International Handstand Day, which means obviously we've all got to do a handstand. Um, we've got to teach 20 people to do a handstand <laughs> yeah. so we can get a nice picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's all just about your tan, Abby. This happened yesterday. Wait. <laughs> so it's so a little bit tender. <laughs> I've already put cream on this morning just in case I get any rays of sun. Well, right, we're going to be inside of things yeah, today. Yeah. Workshop in progress. Tim taking the beginners through some of the handstand work. Yeah, yeah, we're together. Yeah, yeah. Hey, come on, come on. Blow the camera. Vlog it, vlog. I'm gonna get in there. Oh wait, we turn you around. Ah, there we go. What's this? <laughs> All right, final. It's awesome. I mean, like. Until you come down and try it and actually realise you can redefine your impossible, you never know how awesome it is. On brand. <laughs> Love it. Great, great, great. <laughs> give, us a, give us a Saturday. Super Saturday, Saturday Super. Getting souped up on a Saturday, everyone say it. We're live, we're here, School of Calisthenics, up in 316 Staines. Get it? Yeah! <laughs> so, midway in the workshop, um, beginners went really well. Great group, it is warm, it's like a heat wave. I think it's 30 odd degrees here in the UK, unheard of. Um, and so, drinking water is very important, not doing enough of that, and eat it. Time to eat. And I've got a bit of uh, meatballs, beef, um, and spinach for today. And then we've got the treats for the way home the uh, standard 85% uh, Motha Ross dark chocolate. But um, a little bit of a spice to Timbo and the tea and later we get into the car. So, mm. Timbo. I've had a curry already. This is pudding. You've had a curry? Yeah, I've had a pudding. This is pudding. No, this is pudding. So, this is a, um, an amazing oats recipe that I've got from uh, Matt and Gemma Jefferson. Great friends. Shout out. Um, Majulde. It's car made. I don't actually want to see this, but Majulde. Oh, that's what Majulde. Majulde did. Um, orange peel. It tastes like a chocolate orange. Oh. Put that off, Jeffy. You can have a go if you like. So, beginner's workshop done, lunch done, Lucas Aid, happy having taken part in that workshop. Tim's just taking the guys through the movement, final bits of the movement prep work for the progressions workshop in the afternoon. And this one is going to be fire. Partly because it's ridiculously hot, but also we've got a great group here and uh, we're looking forward to seeing people redefine their impossible. And we're looking at that frog to handstand, muscle ups, human flags. Nice, strong position. Okay? 
So just make a line for the cube. <laughs> so that is a way of doing something that is completely unnecessary, but just to make it possible. <laughs> what we're going to do is come down, come down to the floor. So we're going to take, uh, we'll, we'll run through these quick, just from the demo position, just stay quick. But um, so to take up position, first thing we're going to try and do is tilt this pedal to the knee. So Tim can do a really bad position, let that big pace pair up, go on and look back with my hand all the way to the knee, before you can do that. He's going to clamp the pace down, tilt the pedal to the knee, like that, just like we're doing on that stretch over there. Should all the knee to the He then feels the uh, floor of the knee that can't go. In our house, in our hands, in our hands, in our hands, he should maintain that all the way through as he extends the lead out. The further you take the lead away from your pivot point, the more uh, force you've got to control. So as you take the hand, you've got to take the hand to get away, we shouldn't be able to get under there. If we come around and we get the lead back, we need to be lost in that position. So all I want you to do is go only as far as you can to maintain a good position. So not easy. Yeah? And then hopefully, you can get a little bit further on that. If you start with one, into ring muscle-ups in the progression workshop now. Just taking them through false grip. There we go. Good. And so don't gas yourself. Yeah, these are doing right. Yeah, so just go through the process slowly. Trust that process. And then just go, do you mean just almost humor me? Go one at a time. No. Good, so false grip. So false grip. Where's the ring? Yeah, the ring was in your fingers. It needs to come over here. Not in your fingers. More, 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 more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really get that over, 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 over. Yeah. Okay. Still grip tight. Okay. Bring the bring the box over. So where's the ring now? Here. You think yeah. So bring the, bring the box over. And now, uh, right, so, yeah, grab it, right, put right into there. Now bring it down, good. Now bend the wrist, right, keep, uh, no, 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 where you at, yeah. Now bring the elbows in tight. Right, that's where it's got to stay. Feel it on there? Whereas before it was here. Yeah? Right, now better. Good, there you go. But it feels harder, but it's different. You've never done it before. Mm -hmm. Feels weird. So. How do you protect the wrist? Because I feel a lot of pressure in the Yeah, so it's, you, we need to keep these guys loose mm -hmm. on the inside and the outside and work on that flexibility there, being able to get into that shape. Yeah, if, if that feels tight, it's going to be difficult to make it feel easy. You need to just work on that. Flexibility of the wrist, just like any other joint, needs to be worked. But if you've never done it before, it's, it's brand new. So go. go steady and progressive with it. it doesn't have to, you don't have to do one today it might be next month but it might be six months it might be what i think it doesn't matter when it is it's not a race yeah get that right yeah yeah <laughs> how many are you on it's go time oh go to these two we had one already yeah we had one Samson's birthday present happy birthday <laughs> happy, birthday. Birthday. happy birthday. birthday we're going to <laughs> who's going first we're going to be synchronizing Okay. Feet, our feet must be off the floor. Keep them underneath the rings. Don't lean too far back. So put your hips back. Quick. Move your feet. Go on, Joe. You go. You go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah. 
I think we will benefit from just being higher up because you're so low down. Yeah. Yeah. Have a yeah. Have a rest. Samsung, show me one uh, high up. That's better. Yeah, yeah. Do a couple of reps low down with the band and then come back. Yeah! Happy birthday. Come on. Yes! Ah, oh, easy. Point, and you're literally borderline on a ring. What happens is you keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, elbow's gonna go, and the ring is just gonna fly. You can get away with it on a bar, because you're gonna move. Right? Preservation. Yeah. Are you for three? Oh, yes! Keep him close, keep him close, keep him close. <laughs> There we go. So just for those, we're not going to set you guys up here. As in, this isn't the rack. The rack is here. And because this is fixed, now the middle bar is spinning, which has just made it exciting for us. Um, but we won't make it more difficult for you. We'll make it easy. <laughs> Watch your legs. Richard, five hours in because you came to the beginners as well. <laughs> yeah. Push away, push away, push away, push away. There you go, there you go, there you go. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, but don't neglect the other side. No, like, train both, but it might be you need to stay super tucked on the other side. You'll benefit now from, if you watch, you're not um, completely horizontal. That top arm needs to stay straight, which you do in the second one, and push away with that bottom. And then, look, the hip is lower than the shoulders. So, no, you'll benefit, really yeah. Oh. So, you'll benefit from, top. Super nice tuck. Yeah, make the, make the, uh, make the nicest, are you on Instagram? Yeah. Um, yes, I've never heard of it. I've got. Um, Do you know what your name is? Bob Strickland. Hello, Timbo. 
Workshop finished, successful. Yeah, great one, two, two really good workshops. Can you, now, can you say baklava? Oh, uh, the way that you want me to say it. Baklava. Well, I don't know. You want me to say it? Baklava, 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 for the trip back. <laughs> for the trip, yeah. I didn't even realise you like that. Just for you, Timbo. He's being serious. <laughs> you guys, you did a good job. Well, team effort today. Yeah. Thank you. It makes, yeah, and it makes a massive difference. Let's get some more fresh air. It's not completely. It's not the same, Abby. It's not the same. We have to it's true, I'm not just saying no, no, that. It, it, makes, it makes a massive difference. The, taking the pressure off, so because people want to talk and they want to take photos, yeah. Yeah. and they want to answer questions, and like that's from a promo perspective, we want all that stuff on social. But when we're busy, like trying to sell kit, people just leave. Yeah. Yeah. The sun is setting on another workshop day. Tim is doing a sterling job, drives, chucking another log on drive. It was warm in there today, wasn't it? Yeah. Heat wave. It was warm. The drive is now. We have this conversation sometimes on the way home is how much would you pay to tell them teleport home right now? Yes. Sometimes it's how we entertain ourselves when we go back from workshop. We eat dark chocolate and we talk about how much would you pay to be at home right now. I right think now, that roughly around. £66.40. <laughs> I'm right now. I'm enjoying that would be to me. We've got, we've got Georgie food, has so. got to drive home again. She's got another hour when she gets back. <laughs> Georgie, how much would you pay to be at home right now? <laughs> a lot. A lot. <laughs> yeah. More than £66.40. What, what's £66.40? It's just about it's it's what I think would be a good value to be at home right now. <laughs> like, more than £50, but not quite as much as £70. So I'm going to get shot for square in the middle. I've got the, the, the drabs of the, of the barbecue waiting for me when I get back. Oh, really? It's a slightly overdone sausage. <laughs> <laughs> and a dry beef burger. Yeah. Um, I slightly overdid it on the baklava. <laughs> Have you got a drive now, Douglasville? Yes. Brutal. I was given one, I was given the, you don't have to come if you don't want to. But it would be preferable if you did. <laughs> <laughs> but you need to come. Yeah. <laughs> I'm rhetorically going to say that it's your choice. It's actually yeah, not it's your not choice the, at you all. You know the, the right choice. You know where Mrs. Jack is. <laughs> what, what yeah. Yeah, yeah. We know it wears the trousers in your relationship. I'm not sure. Can you scoot back on Jacko? <laughs> <laughs> but it's been a good day. It's been a great day. Really good workshop. Great. Two amazing groups of people. It's probably some of the most able that we've had. Some people, which is not a massive prerequisite. It just sometimes happens that we get people at different levels of their progression. But today the, group, the guys did a great job. It's really like good first um, first wins on things like muscle ups, handstands. How many wind muscle ups did you count? Oh, maybe like people, five or six people I reckon, for the record. first time. Um, so yeah, buzzing after today. Just went six six pound forty right now. If we hit traffic, that is going to yeah. Traffic would break me right now. Like that. Clear road is fairly. I'm happy with that. I'm in a good place. Looking forward to Edinburgh next week. Next week. Although I'm not. Now, the chances of me editing this before next week is zero. How, am I, yeah, how much would I pay to be in Edinburgh instantly when we set off on a six hour journey on Friday afternoon? Yeah, it's going to be a long trip. More than £66.40. And we're in the fun bus. Yeah, <laughs> which is great. Yes. But not the most luxurious in terms Mrs. of Mrs. Mrs. Jacko is going to be Abby. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not there, sorry. Swapping. Yeah. Are, we going to, are we all going to sit up front or is it, am I sitting in the back? Uh, if I sit in the back, you two are. You definitely vlog this. Vlog that journey. Yeah, there was a time where I was sitting in the back once and Jacko was driving with Mrs. Jacko in the passenger seat and I got called a moron. It was preceded by the F word. Oh, was it a. Uh, no. Yeah. yeah, that didn't go down well. I I'm thought, like, I thought it was hilarious. You know, you know, in Back to the Future, Martin McFly, don't nobody calls me chicken. It's the one thing Catherine's not allowed to watch more on. <laughs> she chose it. Probably not going to pour this in the vlog. No. Um, right, we're going to do a test. Do the girls in the back know oh, the sign off? It's a real big test now. Until next time. 
Fail. Gently fail. Class dismissed. Oh, I didn't hear what you said. Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just said. <laughs> what? I thought you even asked the question. Yeah, we'll do it again. So, till next time. Class dismissed. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>